Brief System here, and uh, today I'll be showing you how to add uh, brushes, scripts, and fonts into GIMP. Well, because it's, I haven't done an, a tutorial on this yet, and it's really important. So, uh, I've downloaded this Gypsy Curse uh, font, along with these fractal brushes, and layer effects, which is essentially a script a few. Uh, it allows you to do bevel and emboss, which is pretty cool, and a bunch of other pretty cool uh, stuff. So, uh, what you're going to do after that is unzip your brush. You never know, might be useful. And you're going to go, you're going to go to your Mac, Applications, and right click on GIMP, and then do Show Package Contents. Then you're going to do Contents, Resources, Share, GIMP, 2.0 and here you got brushes and scripts fonts are located somewhere else I'll show you right after so then all you have to do is just copy your brushes into brushes I already have there so I'm just gonna do a replace and copy your scripts into scripts pretty simple uh, now to add the fonts you're going to open Mac and go uh, to system then do library. Now in here you are going to find fonts which are right there which I overlooked so then all you gotta do is just copy that uh, your font into fonts. Ah, uh, I have to authenticate so crap. There we go. Now when you open GIMP everything should be there. Uh, I will also do a tutorial for uh, PC for all those PC users out there which will come right after this wow again it's taking long to load uh, uh, yeah sorry about that guys my computer kinda of froze uh, so when you open GIMP everything should be there this is my new loading image for GIMP might make a tutorial on how to do that but right now we're doing how to add brushes fonts and scripts so We'll do that later. As you can see, script FU is right here, and this is what it proposes. There's bevel and emboss, you got pattern overlay, color overlay, drop shadow, outer glow, inner glow, stroke, satin, but you can see all those, right? Um, now for your brushes, just click on brushes, and this little icon right here. Um, this is where all your brushes go. As you can see, I have quite a lot, because I used to do signatures and avatars, and they were really useful for that. And uh, by the way, if you want to make a signature, I would recommend using the size 400 by 120, 400 being the width. Now your fonts are going to be here. Just click on this little icon. And let's see where Gypsy Curse went. It is right here, Gypsy Curse. So there we go. Uh, now I'll be going to my PC side and showing you how to do that there. Okay, so I'm back on PC and the process is essentially the same. What you're going to want to do is go to Start, My Computer, Local System C, and then go to Program Files, find GIMP, double click, then do Share, GIMP, 2.0, and there they are. You got brushes up here and scripts down there. So you're just gonna copy uh, your brushes into brushes and your scripts into scripts. Now for fonts, you're gonna go to Local System C, Windows, and you're gonna look for fonts right there. And you're just gonna copy your fonts in there, just like you did with the brushes and the uh, scripts. Now I'm gonna open GIMP just to show you uh, something. I don't know if you've noticed, but I have my layers on my toolbox, and I'm going to show you how to put that there, because I find it's really useful. So uh, let's just wait for GIMP to load. There's my loading image again. Yeah, I think I will post a tutorial on how to make that, because it looks pretty cool. Uh, I think it looks better than the original one, actually. Yeah, okay, there we go. Um, so, as you see, my layers tab is right 
there. I've also added br uh, the brush tab and uh, some uh, the path one as well. Um, so uh, when you start normally you're gonna have uh, when you start game for the first time you're gonna have your toolbox and a layers box on the right and I find that takes a lot of space so what you're gonna do is just click here configure this tab I'm gonna do add tab and right here you see you have a lot of choices so what I did I did layers uh, path like I said before and uh, this just saves a ton of space so I'd recommend doing that actually uh, plus you can just go from layers and uh, to brushes, to path, just in one click. Uh, much easier, much easier. So, uh, yeah. Uh, this is pretty much it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you did. And I'll see you next time. See ya.